Dr. Paul is making the order of the first item on the agenda or the presentation of the colors by the Game of High NJRTC. Would please stand. Bob, wait. Mike. Martin. Mike. Hello. Yes, if you would, please introduce yourself. Tell us which class you're in and what your plans are for after high school. Good evening. I'm Cadet Lieutenant Commander Rafael Robles. I'm in the 11th grade. And after I graduate high school, I plan to attend the University of Notre Dame, study music. Good afternoon. I'm Cadet Lieutenant Commander Kayla McDowell. I am a junior at Kingsville High School, and after high school, I plan on becoming a medical scientist. Good evening. My name is Cadet Commander Adriana Delgado. I am a senior at Gainesville High School. After high school, I plan on going to school for nursing. Good, Good evening. My name is Cadet Chief Petty Officer Daniel Ayala. I'm in 10th grade, and after high school, I plan to go to Natchez Marine Corps. Let's give these kids a <laughs> I'd like to ask uh, Principal Mayer, if you would please join us out here this month. We get to recognize the Gainesy Middle School West Campus, their students, and also their staff. Thank you, sir. Good evening, everyone. At this time, I want to recognize our scholars at GMS Blend. And for the first group, my eye those that have demonstrated four hours, very respectful, responsible role models. And I'm happy to announce that. That's right. Oh, this is still on my queue. Oh, thank you. All right. Okay. All right. So, our first one, Jeremy Dimitres. Are you here? Give you a shout out. Hey, Sue Santa. Oh, you did? Oh, you did? Next up, I have And I saw this one, Nancy Lopez. Come on down here. Next, Next, 
Judeo and Join. Hold the pants. <laughs> one more, one more. There we go. Exactly. All right, this next group of scholars we are recognizing for academic excellence. First, Lizzie Martini Castinos. Josue Martinez, Diana Clayton Bolivio, Bruno Montero, Samantha Hoyos. Julio Rodriguez Perez, Kevin Sika, Lord, <laughs> Ethan Alfred and Judea and on come on Yes. 
Now, at this time, we would like to recognize what we call Harrison the Herd, the Gabe City School Systems, and the School of Academy Service, across the entire community. The Heroes of the Herd will be written in the stroke and that finds them exceptional information, exemplary performance, enthusiastic attitude, and commitment to the human systems. Using the first The recipients of the group of people who have five members of the staff. All the first staff certified staff. This person is always positive, willing to help, creative, positive, and professional attitude. Great communication with scholars. I've seen her go above and beyond the most talented of other teachers to that. Her creative juices are always flowing as she brings that element to the middle school. She's a gem and a gift to the school. The original event that she does not see is back with attendance. She has helped props of music. And create one fact for the visit of the school. I would like to honor our world class media specialist, Ms. Alicia Vance. Thank you. Thank you for the room. This hero, in today's environment with the use of technology, Mr. Kevin Terrell is an asset that gave the little school back. Mr. Terrell, thank you. And we all tied back. Mr. Terrell, thank you. Whether you express a ticket and stab him to stop the show, he's personal and he performs his duties and responsibilities with a smile. This is the role of the to ask for to be ready to talk and sacrifice. His smile says, I'm here and I'm ready to go. He interrupts the staff and scholars to support the team. When time is going to transplant, here's the one that has to work to talk to the issue of the family. Although I don't understand the process of technology, it's written in simple terms by the His customer satisfaction still was superb and has checks in the number to make sure there are no additional technology issues. This is the real professionalism and positive attitude should be attributed to all terms of the herd. 
At this time, I'd like to recognize our work as the 1920s. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Everybody, let's give the uh, boys and girls and the teachers uh, these classified support. One more round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the school who met with on your recent, recent stand for regional education service agents. There are 15 districts in Northeast Georgia that comprise Pioneer Recent. And this past Friday, we had the opportunity to recognize one of our owners of Pioneer in Education. The previous recipients of this award include Bertha Pagaris, Dr. Marion Dyer, Mr. Willie Mitchell, Pam Ware, and then on Friday we have to recognize Mr. Shane Smith. Most of you may not know, but Mr. Smith, from first day of first grade all the way through 12th grade, was the Red Oak. And his first job out of college was teaching at Angela Middle School. And since then, he has been in the political realm, the uh, public relations and marketing realm, the two back of lives. For many, many years, and uh, this December will be his last month serving our quarters. He decided to retire from this service and to see what lies ahead. So, please join me as we officially recognize Mr. Smith with all of us here in the district as our pioneer and educator. Like to add two commendations to our list. We remember the good life of Jacob Wilmot, who passed away on Saturday. Uh, Jacob wore many, many hats in his life. He was a fair street school manager, father, center, director, umpire, referee, coach, father, grandfather, great grandfather, uh, many, many. Work of love children, love children. Uh, for many years, we don't know how many. He was the crosswalk guard at Enoja. And back in 2016, we named the crosswalk in his honor. So Dr. Roach placed a uh, plural uh, this morning. Once we learn the Jacob's passing, that's adding up. I, I trust you will see it. We we find the Jacob for this. Good luck. One more picture. In 2021, he received an honorary diploma from Gainesville High School. He was the happiest honorary diploma recipient I have ever seen, as you can see. He was very happy. We thank you, Jacob. Thank you. This is uh, Mr. Green. This is our 1923 Gainesville High football team. 1923. So we're celebrating Centennial. This was the first undefeated. Gainesville High School team a hundred years ago. And we commend this year's Gainesville High School team for being undefeated so far. 
Yeah, a few games ago. But uh, this picture and a nice tribute will be made Friday night at the ball game to remind folks of our winning tradition now, which exceeds 100 years. Thank you. Chair of the were there any students that showed up and were not able uh, to come forward? Uh, Mr. Mayor, if you would join us, I think you have students that were not able to come up and get a little more space if we could. Carlos, for the four R's, demonstrating the four R's. Yvette Martinez. Jeremy, yeah. Jeremy Benitez. Congratulations. Do you have anyone here from Legal Street Hall? If so, if you would stand up, tell us your name, and tell us which organization you were with. Uh, my name is Melissa Lasquez. I was playing marketing for the Nation of Diana. I'm going to Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, this does end our recognition portion of the meeting. If you need to go, now would be a good time before we start our social business. The trust me will be free. <laughs> <laughs> Or members, if you will, uh, make sure you make the phone call. Got a motion by Mr. Smith and a second by Mr. Mitchell. All in favor? Motion carries. Uh, Mr. Mayor, if you'll come back up and tell us all the new things that are going on and easily do a full list. Thank you, sir. Well, good evening, Superintendent Dr. Williams, Treasurer, Mrs. Smith, Mrs. Nora Halls, Chair Mrs. Stewart, Dr. Ramsey, and Co Chair Mr. Mitchell. It's an honor to stand here again in the second year of Gazing Middle School West. The school year was an easier opening due to the processes that were taking place last school year. 
Instead of acclimating three grade levels to the public expectations and property, we only have to place extra emphasis on the sixth grade. This year is shown in the roles of GMS squared. So at GMS squared, we're committed to the district's mission of inspiring American challenging and preparing our scholars, faculty, parents, and community. Under the mission, our scholars and staff at GMS squared, the thing this year happened is we're going to get a record with two weeks. Rep are for relationships. We're focusing on building relationships with the scholars, parents, and peers. E for empathy, developing empathy for scholars, parents, and peers. Always ask the adverb why. There's a reason for the behavior exhibited academically, emotionally, and socially. P for professionalism. Always be professional with all stakeholders and themselves. And the last key, positivity. Be positive with all stakeholders. I feel which is the universe is going come back to you. And let's look at all things positive. So that's the challenge we did for the staff for this year. We are going to get a rep at GMS. That's not very good. Right. So the inspire and nurture, they overlap. Last two years, sorry, last two years data from the Georgia Student Health Survey demonstrated that we're on the right track. 82% of our final point supported. They felt they had a supportive relationship with teachers, faculty, parents, and others outside of the school. So to build on that data to improve uh, the relationships as a staff we discuss strategies on how to build relationships, such as simply standing at the door to greet them and ask how your day is going. That goes far away. Also conducting check-ins with scholars to ensure they are doing well emotionally. Currently, the councils are meeting with Groups that are doing with primary teachers and themselves, and using the data to meet with them weekly to give them space for them to share their, share their thoughts. I want to help initiate the use of the scholars who are recommended for sessions via our kid data, kid data talks. So, within the kid data talk, I mentioned this to you all last year, where we nurture and this to address the district's goal of decreasing scholars from tier three and tier two. We meet weekly by grade level with each team, discuss the early ones in the ABCs, the attendance, behavior, and course progress. Uh, we look at what strategies have been implemented, and then we discuss as a team what can we do to implement further. We also make on site calls for the parents to discuss how their child is not, how they're doing, uh, and what can we do to work together as a team so they can be successful. Then on Friday, the leadership support team, we meet every Friday and we discuss those scholars that were brought up at the kid data talk. And that's where we have a mental clinician, we have a um, um, social worker, counselors, administrators, and our graduation coach. And we discuss further how we're going to implement strategies. And we, we, we lock in the data and we revisit in four weeks to see where they are. This is just where restaurant services, we just care about the whole child from sixth grade all the way to eighth grade and get them prepared to get to the high school. Scholars are knowledgeable only for the academic performance, the PBS initiative, and we do have the fun Fridays. But this year, I gave a caveat. I implemented uh, academics with it. Uh, they were to, if they were any any referrals, behavior referrals, they could attend on Friday, but this last one Friday, I implemented if you fail more than two courses, you can't have because our field of behavior prior to that academics. And that really walks us from the scholars to know that my focus is always teaching learning. For additional academic support, we still are offering extended day learning on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We have time in school from 9 to 12 p.m. and morning help during the Bible. They can go and get their breakfast, and we have a new morning test. I'm happy to announce that we can freeze four plays by 50% at the same time last school year. So the message is rolling out that the academics is paramount at GMS West. I'm also happy to announce the scholar agendas. So, one of my assistant principals last year, we said we wanted agenda books. She had an idea with Lee Parker that we should have the scholars design them to get buy-in from them. So shout out to the elementary school that 
They allowed us to have the, the competition at the elementary um, school for the rising sixth graders. So they could submit hand by hand or by um, digital. And I just want to show you what they came up with. We got all the submissions, they were some fantastic ones, and we voted on them. This is the sixth grade one, as you can see it hand. I wanted to give you all a guess what the, the enrollment is increasing. I have to give it to Jennifer, so I'm so sorry. Um, I, <laughs> we over 900 right now, so it keeps increasing by a day. As you can see, they put the distinction of this one, G A. And the only thing we had is we had the other elements for the day we sit. And on, so we, for each grade level, they had their own. But there was just one condition that I know was the tradition of games for athletics. Look at this one. And we had to put this on the back of every attention um, the football. So this is third grade. This was computer generated. Sat in the style of the park, and you get to see the work. And each of them had the name on each card screen and their, their year that they're read. And this is the eighth grade. So it allows us to identify a six hundred and eighth grade in the fall. As I told you, it's their past group. So we're looking forward to doing this again next year. Uh, see what kind of renditions we have for the upcoming um, for the 20, 24, 25 school year. Other things we've done to, to bring the parents. We have school support services very recently, in which we share our recommendations for the things we offer. Um, we also had a special, special education information with parent meetings to inform parents of their rights and what to expect with this positive education. We also just began um, last month, October. We have begun our conversation speaking with class with parents on the Festival of Health Saturday tomorrow, and it's called Miss Royal Art and Soul Uh And the CEO of our parent coordinators to continue with the parent workshop practice and parenting. They conduct a book study on planting the seeds. Uh, there's a remarkable book study group in which you see you hear the laughter and you see the tears. Uh, so the challenge of prepare. To further challenge of prepare our scholars and teachers, we have implemented very benchmark assessments. What are those? These are assessments that teachers create to measure the first every nine weeks of the standards that we come. We use that data and we align it with the IRA um, data, freedom data to see where our scholars are and what help they need. So we use our scholar intervention time for that. That's during the day where they get interventions or enrichment. And also for Saturday school and extended learning. So we also have just some time training for our um, teachers. These are monthly professional development. This week's topic this month is how we call this co-teaching strategy. So our world class teachers continue to further their experiences to be better educators and provide opportunities for the scholars. Happy to announce two of our um, teachers. There's Jones, this is a second year in a row. She's a great science teacher. She's the recipient of a $2,000 grant from Jackson UMC Bright Ideas for, for her submission, Crash Test Collision, for no guns. Uh, this is Connor, our very consumer science teacher. He was a former chef and he's doing some great things with our college. He was awarded a $500 grant from Page because he, he, he wanted to acquire extra funds for special equipment. He was a chef at a um, local design to the Red House for them. So he wanted to continue the tradition with the scholars. So he was able to get that grant and he's going to buy the, the machinery that's the report. And this will in turn turn into a service project for us. Totally fantastic. As you know, I'm not satisfied and we're continuing to find improvement organization. But I'd like to connect with our teaching learning and support at the MS West and for academic excellence. So we close this stop the length of Board of Education. Just want to say thank you for your support for what I can do at GMS West. I just want to leave you without warning, message matches that we do every morning. Be ready for your teachers, be respectful to your teachers, be responsible for yourself, and be a role model to your peers. It's your choice. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Did I have any questions, Mr. Mayor? On your, uh, just a small question, on your reach out to parents, yes. uh, is that balance positive and negative? 
or are you only reaching uh, because of negativity? Oh, no, I'm just reaching. All my parents in that building. I implore them just to come and walk with them. Um, matter of fact, at the time, you were only taking the promise to take it. If you were rolling and your parents on two of the buildings, see the buildings, see what, what they get themselves into. And it, it uh, allayed their fears about where the child is going. So it's all about positivity. Yes. If they have something negative, I'll leave it. Yes, sir. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, Mr. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. I'd like to end the same motion to approve the minutes. Thank you. The motion by Mr. Norholt, the second by Dr. Renzi, all those in favor. Motion carries. I think the motion to adopt the items on the consent agenda. Second. Got a motion by Dr. Renzi. Do you have a second? Second. Got a second by Mr. Norholt. Second. But the minutes reflect that uh, Mr. Smith is going to stand. I'm sorry. All those in favor? Motion carries. All right. Uh, action items. The documents are on the calendar for next year's board meeting. Tradition in November is always bringing the next year's calendar. Nothing has changed to the 5 30 meeting time. You will see the meetings that occur on Tuesdays in red. Uh, that is typically due to MLK as well as Labor Day. Otherwise, we are um, board work sessions happen at the board office and the other meetings that occur here, all of the uh, work sessions and board meetings in the summer do occur at the board office because we do not hold any recognitions uh, during that time. All right, are there any questions or comments? I'd like to entertain a motion to adopt the calendar. Oh, we have a motion by Mr. Smith. And second by Dr. Randy. All those in favor? Motion carries. All right, uh, Mrs. Griffin. Is this copy? Yes, we'll bring you copy. Hello. Good evening. I'm bringing for the board a proposal for a new sign in Angle High School. The new marquee is going to be five feet tall. On top of the two and a half foot base, so we get seven and a half feet tall. It'll be a large addition to the worsty area of the campus, similar to the sign that you see here at Midland Park that we're right next to here, public safety complex. You may also see one that added recently by Brown. This one will be slightly different than those two signs in that it's a double layer, so it will be uh, have the opportunity to have some red come through. It will be constructed in the same way that the marking letters are currently on the building, building A, B, and C. If you notice those in the top corner of each of those buildings, this will be constructed in a similar fashion to tie into those signs. So I propose that we approve the contract with Confluence and IMG, which will be an extension of what we're already doing. We work with all the other wayfinding for $49,592. And Ms. Griffin, the uh, funding for this, this is a slot. This is part of the existing amount of general funding. Mm -hmm. uh, it's where we make all the other uh, marquees from the other schools. We took down the existing marquee at Gainesville High School. It was a smaller sign. You might remember it was near the flag. Um, flag the electronic like sign. Mm -hmm. So this will replace that. Obviously, it will be electronic. Like the traffic flow there is just too fast. The camera was really able to read that in that location. Any other questions? Oh, okay. I, I, I don't have any issues, but I do have an issue with the original way on the sign, the arrows. I'm not sure what errors you're referring to. The active present errors were still. We're still uh, any other questions regarding this side? We have a motion to uh, approve. We have a motion by Mr. Smith here, second. Second. Second by Dr. Randy. All those in favor? Motion to change. Thank you, Mr. Griffin. I have a motion to adopt the personnel report. 